So I couldn't care less that the Liberal Party members all don't like each other and no one seems to like Scott Morrison. What I do care about is the consequences of a government that is dysfunctional and unable to go about the business of governing, that is so obsessed by itself. Barnaby Joyce has just pulled out of his insider's interview that was scheduled to take place yesterday. They're incapable of doing the jobs which they have. Scott Morrison should stop jumping in uh, motor cars in Bathurst, pretending he's a, he's a car driver. He should stop jumping in the cockpit of planes, pretending he's a fighter pilot. He should stop trying to pretend he's a hairdresser. He should stop with all the photo ops and just do his day job. Do his day job looking after older Australians in aged care who are currently undergoing a crisis and increasingly aged care providers are calling for the defence uh, forces to be brought in to make beds to do the essentials. This is a government that if Scott Morrison was fair income, he wouldn't go to a hairdresser, he'd go to the Governor General and call an election. Because quite clearly, they're not governing, they're not functioning, they are just paralysed by disunity, and what they should be doing is having an election and letting the Australian people decide, letting the Australian people decide whether they want their Prime Minister to be someone who all those closest to him, the New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian at the time, Barnaby Joyce, the Deputy Prime Minister, the unnamed Cabinet Minister who gave the character assessment of Scott Morrison in those text exchanges with Gladys Berejiklian whether they think he's fit to continue to be Prime Minister of this land and continue to govern into a second decade. They do not have an agenda for government and the Australian people should be given the opportunity to cast their own judgement on this Prime Minister, just as Barnaby Joyce has.